going on from that, basically, um, there's so many different encounters in regards to, to, you know, nuclear activity and UFOs. And it was only two years later, from um, 1945, that we had two very infamous cases. You have the UFO Roswell crash, which again was in New Mexico, where uh, officials claimed that they had actually collected a flying saucer. Uh, but then it was then retracted and told that it was just a weather balloon. But we'll go into to greater details with that possibly in the, in the future in another episode. The second case is what's called the Kenneth Arnold Report. Now, the Kenneth Arnold Report, again, was in 1947. And um, it was a, a very incredible case because Kenneth Arnold was a very reliable figure. He was a commercial pilot from Idaho, and he got a lot of media frenzy around this encounter that he's seen. Uh, the reason being is... Um, he actually said that he's seen nine flying disc-shaped objects. They were traveling at incredible speeds. They were performing incredible maneuverability. They were flying in formation, and they looked to be in, uh, under some sort of uh, intelligent control. Now, this uh, media frenzy that came around it, it basically uh, got a lot more media, do you reckon, than, than the ending of World War II itself. So that's how important this case was at the time. Now, uh, to, to go further with that, the reason why the Kenneth Arnold situation is very, very important is because it was just a stone's throw away. It was just a few miles away from the Hanford nuclear facility site. Now, that nuclear facility site was, was played a key role and was critical in the building of the atomic bomb itself. And it's actually been said that without this site, it would never have been created as quickly as it was. <laughs> 